video we have seen something about sound sound is a mechanical wave because it requires medium for propagation moreover it is of both types both longitudinal wave and transverse wave longitudinal wave and transverse wave longitudinal wave as well as transverse wave in the case of solids longitudinal plus transverse in the case of solids and liquids and gases in liquids and gases sound travels only in the form of longitudinal wave whereas in solids it travels in both the forms okay now we need to understand more about sound means you have to understand more about wave so let's talk about something more let's talk something more about wave so wave as we already discussed there are of two types one is transverse wave the other one is longitudinal wave in transverse wave suppose this is a free surface of a water if you throw stone at this point you will find this kind of wave spreading in one direction or in all directions this is a transverse wave but if you look at a spring when you compress the spring and release there will be compression and then there will be elongation and then again there will be compression and then there will be elongation and then there will be compression and so on so this is the one which is above the natural level is what we call crest and this below level is we call trough so this is crest this part is trough and this is this part is compression compression and this part is elongation this elongation is also called rarefaction or rarefaction compression and rarefaction so transverse wave transverse wave travel in the form of crests and troughs longitudinal waves longitudinal waves waves travel in the form of compressions and rarefactions so one compression plus one rarefaction suppose if you take up this so this is one compression this is one rarefaction together one compression rarefaction is called one wave here this is crest and this is troughs together it is one wave so one wave is like this so one transverse wave is like this this is one transverse wave one longitudinal wave is like one compression plus one rarefaction so this is one wave when you define what happens after this rarefaction is again next compression will occur and after compression rarefaction will occur so if you take the midpoint of this if you take the midpoint of this to the next midpoint of this half rarefaction will be the, half compression will be here half compression will be here one rarefaction so half compression half compression one compression and one rarefaction so when you define wavelength wavelength is the distance from one compression to the immediate next compression so this we call successive it is not this compression that is happening here so one wavelength so wavelength if you ask me to define wavelength in terms of longitudinal wave it is from one compression to the immediate so that is successive compression so distance between two successive compressions compressions or distance between two successive rarefaction from this rarefaction to this rarefaction because half rarefaction here half rarefaction here half rarefaction half rarefaction and one compression so half plus half one rarefaction so one compression plus one rarefaction is a wave so it is like distance between two successive compressions or two successive rarefactions rarefactions is equal to wavelength but it, when it comes to transverse wave it is one crest plus one trough 
suppose the next trough next crest is coming here then you see here the distance from this crest to this crest is one wavelength because this here is one half crest let me explain here here is one half crest and here is one half crest one full crest will come one full trough will be there so the distance between two successive crests so distance between two successive crests or from one trough to next trough distance between two successive troughs troughs equal to wavelength in longitude in transverse type so this is what basically wavelength if you want us to define if you want to define wavelength it is distance between distance between two successive compressions or air fractions in longitudinal wave or distance between two successive crests or trough in transverse wave that is called wavelength so for most of our understandings you do not have to go through all this so one wave is like this in transverse and one wave here in longitudinal is one compression and one rarefaction so that is equal to one wave this is how it will look like this is how it will look like okay so the what is the next thing suppose this undisturbed thing is having this way compared to undisturbed how much it is compressed or how much it is rarefied is called amplitude for example here without disturbance water surface is only this much when a, a disturbance is created water goes up till this point this is the maximum height of the water from the main position this is called amplitude called amplitude so the distance between these two in normal thing is 1 cm here it is 5 cm means that is called amplitude amplitude is amplitude of a wave of a wave is equal to maximum displacement maximum displacement of the particles of the particles of the particles from the average position from the normal average position from the normal positions that is called amplitude then the other characteristic of a sound is frequency so frequency is very simple it is just number of waves produced produced in one second number of waves produced in one second is called frequency there are three major characteristics so far we have seen one is wavelength wavelength the other one is frequency and third one is amplitude so wavelength is distance between two successive crests or frequency is number of waves produced in one second amplitude is the maximum displacement of the particle in from the mean position or normal position so what are the units wavelength is measured in meter because it is the distance suppose one wave is this right so this distance is called wavelength or by definition if a wave is like this from this crest to this crest this distance is wavelength so the wavelength is referred by the greek alphabet lambda frequency frequency is number of waves produced in one second i will give an example here based on the example we will try to understand the unit of frequency see frequency is referred by the letter here wavelength is referred by the letter lambda frequency is referred by the letter nu so we have to pronounce it as nu it's a greek alphabet it's not exactly v suppose if you have any trouble pronouncing it or something let us keep frequency as cf 
frequency is number of waves produced in one second. Suppose a source is producing 100 waves in 5 seconds. Then for 5 seconds, 5 seconds, 100 waves. Then in 1 second, in 1 second, it is 100 by 5. So 100 is the number of waves. 5 is the time that will be in seconds. So if you just write this 100 by 5 is equal to 20 waves per second. Waves do not have any unit, just a number. It is just a number whereas second is a unit, unit of time. So frequency is calculated by dividing the number of waves per unit time number of waves per one second so number of waves per one second already we discussed in the pressure and etc waves per second so number of waves per second in the denominator time is coming in the numerator it is just a number a number does not have unit but second is the unit of time so the unit of frequency the unit of frequency is 1 by second. This 1 by second in the name of scientist Hertz is known as Hertz. Hertz means 1 by second. This is another most important thing to understand. Suppose uh, how it is working out. Suppose a source is emitting emitting 200 waves 200 waves in 4 seconds 4 seconds what is the frequency what is the frequency if that is the question number of waves by second will give you frequency so frequency is equal to number of waves by total time taken so that is 200 waves by 4 seconds 4 seconds so this 4 so it is 50 so how we will be writing it is frequency is equal to 50 waves waves just a number into 1 by second will be there 50 waves per second this waves per second is called as because wave is just a number so it does not have unit so it is 1 by second that 1 by second is known as Hertz so we will write frequency as 50 Hertz frequency as what 50 Hertz 50 Hertz frequency means 50 waves are produced in one second 50 Hertz frequency means 50 Hertz frequency means please understand this 50 waves are produced in one second produced in one second okay so the other part so i will summarize this again because we need constant summarization here wavelength so wavelength is referred by the letter lambda wavelength unit is meter or its abbreviation m so frequency frequency is referred by the letter nu r you can for comfort you can take it to be f so unit of frequency is 1 by second that 1 by second is also known as hertz so we have to pronounce it as hertz when you write it fully hertz because it is scientist name the first letter cannot be a capital letter if a source produces 200 hertz frequency that means 200 waves are generated in one second okay then amplitude so amplitude amplitude is the amplitude is given by the letter or referred by the letter a and unit of the amplitude is meter because amplitude is basically 
the maximum displacement of the particle from the normal position. So this is basically the height. The height is measured in meter. So the fourth most important unit or the quantity that we need to look at is time period. Time period. What is time period? What is time period? Suppose if if a source source produces two waves in one second frequency is equal to what frequency frequency is number of waves per unit time number of waves produced in one second so frequency is two if one second is taken for two waves then for one wave time taken for one wave time taken for producing one wave producing one wave is just half a second your frequency is 2 time period is 1 by 2 remember that see frequency suppose one source produces four waves four waves in one second one second that means frequency is four waves per second so four hertz or four waves per second if time to produce four waves is just one second then in one second it can produce four waves okay four waves in one second then time to produce one wave is just one fourth of a second so for four waves one second for one wave so for one wave it is just one by four second so time period is basically if frequency is four time period is one by four time for one wave is time period time period so frequency and time period are reciprocal so frequency is equal to another important result frequency is equal to 1 by time period period or time period is equal to time period is equal to 1 by frequency frequency's unit is hertz or 1 by second hertz or second power minus 1 time period's unit is second frequency is hertz or second power minus one you can remember it that way so that is why one by second power minus one becomes seconds and what is the natural consequence if frequency is equal to 200 hertz what is the time period time period is equal to one by frequency one by frequency means 1 by 200 hertz hertz means second power minus 1 when the second power minus 1 comes up seconds will be 1 by 200 1 by 200 is actually 1 by 200 seconds 1 by 200 if you just cut three zeros it becomes 1 by 0 0.2 you if you write this it is 1 divided by if you just move 1 2 3 so you can write it as 0 0.2 into 10 power 3 seconds and in that case how it becomes is 1 by 0 0.2 is 5 10 power 3 coming to the numerator it becomes 10 power minus 3 seconds minus 3 10 power minus 3 means milli this milli means small s, small m. So this can be written as 5 millisecond. If frequency is 200 hertz, then time period is 5 millisecond. Uh, this can be written as 5 millisecond. This way from time period, frequency can be calculated or from frequency, time period can be calculated. So frequency unit is hertz, time period unit, time period letter, time period letter is capital T, 
its unit is second and amplitude amplitude and wavelength wavelength are measured in meters remember all these three points